Hey GED students, um, it's GED question of the daytime and looks like we're in the land of algebra still. So let's go ahead and read our directions. It says is, and this thing right here I recognize as a point. I know that if I have two numbers in parentheses with a comma between them, I'm looking at a point. So is the point 3, negative 2 a solution to the inequality below? So I'll remind you what it means for something to be a solution. A solution means it makes the relationship true. Ugh, I can't spell relationship apparently. It makes the real true. Okay, makes the relationship, and this particular relationship below is an inequality, uh, true. And we can see that it just, uh, this inequality, uh, unlike the last one we looked at, just has two expressions. I've got a left-hand side, uh, left-hand side, separated by, from a right-hand side by an inequality sign. And that inequality sign is a greater than or equal to sign. I can tell it's a greater than sign because it goes off to the right, like the right-hand side of my number line where numbers get bigger and bigger. And I can tell it's or equal to because of this line underneath, so greater than or equal to. So what I want to know is if I put these numbers, a 3 and a negative 2, into this inequality, will the left-hand side be greater than or equal to the right-hand side? Well, I don't know. Let's test it out. What we'll do is we'll put these values in. Remember that the first number inside of a point is an x value and the second number inside of a point is a y value. So what I'm doing is I'm basically testing a 3 for the x and a negative 2 for the y. Let's do that. Let's plug those values in. So I'll keep my 3 where I saw 3 but I'll turn my x also into 3 <clears throat> because this point said x would be 3. Notice I use parentheses because when a 3 and an x are shoved together like this, they're multiplying. So I want to say 3 times 3. Now I'll keep my negative 2 the same, but I'll substitute in a negative 2 here for that y. I'm going to leave this greater than or equal to sign here, and I want to know if that left-hand side is greater than or equal to uh, 10. So let's do this math. 3 times 3 is 9. Now when you look at this, when you're... Now this says minus 2, but it also says negative 2. When you're adding and subtracting, you think of this like a minus 2, but when you're multiplying, think of it like a negative 2. So this is kind of like negative 2 times negative 2. Well, negative 2 times negative 2 would be positive 4. Or another way we think of it is a negative times a negative is a positive. Um, and so I end up getting plus 4 there, not minus 4. And that's greater than or equal to 10. And of course, 9 plus 4 is 13. Now the good news is if you didn't know how to do all this simplifying right here, on the left-hand side, your TI30XS can do the um, integers for you. You could have plugged that entire expression there. 3 parentheses, open parentheses, 3 close parentheses, minus 2, open parentheses, negative 2, close parentheses, you could have typed that entire thing into your calculator and it would have told you 13, okay? So that being said, I got this expression, 13 is greater than or equal to 10. What you got to ask yourself is, did I get a true statement or not? Is 13 really greater than or equal to 10? Well, heck yeah, 13 is greater than 10. So is this thing true? It is true. And since it's true, that means that yes, 3, negative 2 is a solution to the inequality below. You've been asked, is it a solution? That's just a yes or no question. So the answer here is yes. Great. If you have any questions about this, be sure to drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to clear up any issues you're having.